Hello there and welcome to today's video featuring the Death Sticks man himself, Elan Sel Sabagno. Now, Elan Sel Sabagno was a male Balasar Death Stick dealer on the planet Coruscant during the Separatist Crisis. Also known by his nickname Elan Sleazebag Anno, he was a medical student stationed on Coruscant who ultimately fell in with the wrong crowd and eventually became a sleuthmonger or drug dealer, after stealing medical supplies from the University of Coruscant and then selling them to a gangster named Hat Low. After he was made a sleuthmonger, he specialised in selling death sticks, selling to anyone and everyone, eventually becoming addicted to his own product. But apart from the highly addictive side effect of the drug, his Balasar physiology protected him from the other harsh side effects. He proceeded to spend his time touring Coruscant's nightclubs in order to sell more and more death sticks, with one of his more favourite and popular spots being the Outlander Club in the Uskrud Entertainment District. In 22 BBY, shortly before the outbreak of the Clone Wars, he met with Jango Fett and attempted to sell him some Rancor nail blades. And then, two nights later, Elon was once again in the Outlander Club selling death sticks to patrons when he made that fateful attempt to sell his death sticks to Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi, who happened to be searching for the Claudite bounty hunter Zan Wazel at the time. Now, Kenobi used the famous mind trick to convince him not to sell any death sticks and to go home and rethink his life. By the time Obi-Wan and Anakin assisted Zanwazel out the back door of the establishment, Elan had already left and was on his way home to rethink his life. A little while later, he managed to break his death stick addiction and swore off the sleuthmonger business. However, he soon found himself slipping back into his old criminal ways and became involved in the trading of other illegal items such as weapons and stolen goods. He was even still selling the finest death sticks in the galaxy, with the slogan that they were 100% pure. Nearly three years after his encounter with Kenobi, Elan helped Boba Fett during one of his adventures on Coruscant in which he ferried Boba around the city, all the while trying his best to sell Boba various illegal wares, and provided him with a sabre dart, which Boba Fett proceeded to use in his failed assassination attempt against Mace Windu. And when the Clone Wars came to an end, Elan once again found himself changing his ways and even started to seek out other addicts to try to turn them from their path of drug use. In fact, on another fateful day whilst down in the lower levels of Coruscant handing out pamphlets, he actually found himself bumping into more Jedi. This time it was Drake Logan and Zonda who both found themselves in hiding and on the run after Order 66. And Elan then found himself being shoved hard out of the way by a clone trooper who was pursuing the pair. After this encounter, he once more found himself reflecting that he probably needed to rethink his life again. And that's Elan Celsa Bagno in a nutshell. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you all in the next one. And until then, may the force be with you.